everybody. This is Pam at the Paper Outpost, and we are carrying on with our neutral junk journal today. And today we are going to be revealing the glued together um, hidden spine in our junk journal. Uh, so let me just orient y'all. Here we go. Let's take this off. There is a neutral junk journal series. I've tried to put the links down below and on the video itself in the end screens and in the little cards. And so if you're looking for the whole series, it's a playlist on my main channel. Okay, that's the back. This is the front because it has the word Shakespeare here. Here is, uh, this one just came with a curved spine so I thought I'd work with it and uh, uh, put signatures in there. Let's see if it if it's stuck. Okay, let's give it the test. Um, usually holds pretty well. Don't make a liar out of me now, Fabrifix. Okay, so this is what our interior spine looks like. We did some stenciling on it and uh, inking, just so you'd have something to look at visually on the inside. Not mandatory, but just getting a little extra spruce here and there, never hurt anybody. Yeah, a little bit more in there, you see that? Okay. And you could do more in there if you want, but I think that looks fine. And here's what it looks like on the back edge. I think that looks nice. There's material here, and this is the edge of the um, curved chipboard. Oh, look, we have a little glue seepage here. Yeah, sometimes that happens. So we got to work that loose. Oh, yeah, now we tore it. That's great. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so we're going to be fixing that. This <laughs> is page one. That happens. Get, get to see it all live here on the paper outpost. And what I'm going to do, I've created a rough spot. And sometimes a rough spot can be your best friend because you can come along with the ink. And you can amplify it as opposed to hide it. Another little area down here. And you can kind of like make it look like it was intentional. Let me just put a little ink there, a little ink there, a little ink here. And oh, here's a little rough area too. Can you see that one? Right there? Yeah, that was probably another place where some glue or something stuck. So instead of hiding it, amplify it. The roughness makes it look more vintage. There you go. Is this coming off or is that all on? No, that looks pretty on, so that's good. Yeah. All right, I like it that it's a little loose. Now you could glue it down completely, but um, I kind of like it a little loose. There's a little more ink in there, a little more ink. Okay, so now we have that. Okay, so um, now that the book itself is functioning very well, and the nice thing about this three-hole pamphlet stitch, hidden spine or uh, regular exposed spine, is your book always lays flat. So if somebody wants to journal inside the book, it's always gonna lay flat, which is so nice for writing or decorating or anything like that but we are going to decorate this baby so i'm going to just maybe start pulling out some of the stuff that we've made maybe we're going to make more stuff i don't know sometimes you you don't know how much you've made so let me let me pull out what we have okay so this is what i have i think i accidentally gave some new stuff away to the recent bundle that i had but that's okay because we can make more if we need it. But I think we, what we do have, oh, these are added in here, some neutral colored postcards, which I thought were kind of cool. So that's another element that you can add if you want to. Here's some, um, this could be page trim or belly band, these long pieces, or they could be cut up and used at will, at random, any way you like. Uh, here's some altered paper clips in the neutral genre, <laughs> if you will. And I got a bunch of those, so those are fun. And what else we got? Got a little envelope. Oh, that's fun. Look at that little envelope. It's got a little pocket, and we decorated this all up. So just look back through the junk journal neutral series, neutral junk journal. Um, oh, and there are all sorts of fun things you could put in here. Um, and here's a little. What's this? A little booklet we made. Look at look at us go. I feel like barely remember making this stuff. Um, oh, yep. There, my glueage issue. Oh, oh. Tear it all apart, man. That's okay. We'll fix it later. Um, a cute little booklet, right? Totally cutie, cute, cute. Yep, very easy to make. I think that was just made out of a... Oh, look, we have extra pockets here. I haven't even filled yet. Oh, well, there you go. Um, well, we'll share the wealth. We'll put something in here. I think I forgot I made those. <laughs> I think I was like, oh, here's... You can make extra pockets and stuff like that. I totally forgot to put something in there. There you go. <laughs> now we're good. We're covered. I'm going to put a few more things in there. Um, so we have things to play with. That is what I'm getting at here. Oh, look, here we have the, um, these are the little page tabs. There should have been four. One, two, three. Oh, good grief. Where'd you go? Number four. I know number four is here. Oh, four. There we go. Number four is good. Okay. Maybe that's a good place to start. Let's 
see how that looks. Okay, here we are. Um, or not. Should we do the page tabs lit last? Oh, let's do it now. What the heck? So I have four page tabs. You can put them up wherever you like. Um, let me find a nice order. Two, three. Three. Oh, it's doing it to me again. Oh, it's hiding. Okay, there we go. Four. Okay. So I do like the one with time. I think that's sort of interesting. That would look cute, right? Just sticking out like that. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put these in. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the the page tabs in first. Not mandatory. Just very fun. Very highly fun. Super fun. Extra fun allowed. Okay, and you can just glue. I'd say glue both sides, and that way you can put it wherever you want. This is Faberfix glue I'm using. Keeping that open, and I'm gonna just a little below the top, and maybe have it stick out a little bit. You may want to test to see where it, how far it sticks out. I think like a half inch, quarter inch to half an inch is is good. So it's not an exact science. There's nothing exact about any of this. Okay. That's cool, isn't it? I don't know. I just, I love that. That There's something about that. Um, okay, so let's find the second signature. And you can stagger them. You can put them all at the top. Totally up to you. This is just plain fun. Okay, we'll put maybe the butterfly next. What do we have? We have the button. Okay. Maybe I'll do this one next. Yeah, okay. We'll do Mr. Edumacation there. Okay, here we go. Getting our glue. So once you have the elements done, the, the junk journal will come together relatively quickly. Um, and if you have leftover elements at the end, that's okay because you can always put them in a new junk journal. And if you want to make a you know, relate to a color or something, just add a little bit of that color to it. Okay, let's see. One, go down about, no, to get you in about there. I like them to stick out about to the same margin. I just think it, it looks nice, but that's also, again, not a hard and fast rule. It's okay if one sticks out more than the other. Go to um, signature block number, signature number three, and maybe we're going to do the button. This is one of my favorites. I really love that one. Um, something about the button. Something about the button. And if, let's see, I don't know if the button's going to stick out or not, but I picked a very flat button in case it got tucked inside so it wouldn't create too much um, girth. <laughs> girth is one of those words that sounds like what it is. What's that, onomatopoeia? It sounds like splash, sounds like a splash. Um, okay, you need to go in a little bit. But we get, you've got button peakage, which is good. There, we like that. Button peakage. Okay, let's check. Oh, yeah, we're, we're button peaking. We're button peaking. That's good. I like that. All right, let's go to the last one. Oh, look, I opened it at the magic place. That never happens. Okay, sometimes the gods are on your side. <laughs> uh, and sometimes they play with you. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, right there. A little butterfly peekage would be nice, too. Okay, let's test. Get in there a little more. A little more. Okay, there we go. We have our page tabs. You probably go a little further north. I think I have a second to reposition you. I'm gonna get a second or two with the uh, the Fabrifix glue. Okay. But when it starts to set, it really, really holds. So there you go. Now they're more equidistant, pretty much. Um, so yeah, we've got that. See how quick that was? That was very quick. Okay, so now let's move along. Oh, and now we get to put something pretty in the front. Oh, this might be interesting to be found there. It will work, but it's a little bit buckly here. No, not, not the right place. And you, I'd like to put you there, but then you actually need to open like that, so not you. You might have a possibility. Oh, how about this guy? That would look kind of cool. Well, maybe nice if I was in frame. How about him? He looks kind of pretty there. Not sure. Okay, if not sure, what's this? That's nice. Hmm, yes, but you need something to go on the back of. So, no, you're not ready. So, I need a different... I need one of those things I gave away already. Okay, that's all right. We'll make more. We'll carry on through the book. We'll come back. Okay, so... Maybe here. You look like you're going to lose your tail. I'm nervous about your, your tail. Can I, do you mind if I glue you down? Yeah, there we go. All right. Uh, 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 down. Better. Better. I'm feeling better about that. Okay, everybody's in his little place. Okay, so this is fine. I'm going to leave that there. Now, we do have choices. We can um, glue or we can uh, clip. We can paper clip things down. So if I was going to put a little something like this here, um, 
Maybe I would want to put something fun inside of it, like a, a piece of dictionary page. That would be fun. Maybe they could play. I like to have uh, play for the, the folks at home too, so they have something to play with. So let's maybe put a piece of dictionary page. It's a nice contrast in there. And then maybe we can clip this. And we do, we have things we can clip. We have to make sure that we're getting the clip going the right way. Oops, here's a nice little one called Wander. Did I get it? I missed it completely. Look at that. And you could also clip it from the top. You could come down like that as an option or from the side or from the other page. Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave that like that. That looks nice. And let's just go in maybe one, two, three pages. Sometimes I'll, I'll do like a random count or I'll put one here and then I'll go to signature number two. Let's go. Let's do that because it's a better technique to teach. Okay, let's go. Now we're going to just maybe go one, two pages inside. And let's use some of these other lovelies that we have here. Maybe here. Maybe I'm going to do the double belly band. I was thinking of a double belly band idea. And then we could put something behind it. That would look really cute, right? Okay, so let's cut these of the same length. And I think I have the same scissors, which are right here. And you can, you're allowed to do this. Yep, because it's yours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now let me just ink up these edges. Okay, looking for the anchor. I know I spend half my time looking for stuff. Where is it? No, nope, can't find it. Gone. Hang on. I found a backup black dauber. I think this is a black dauber. Yeah, yes it is. Oh, hang on. My, my computer is going to turn off. My goodness, this is the hang on show. How to hang on with, with Pam with the paper elbows. Okay, like that, right? Good contrast. Using of neutrals. Looks like a little, little, um, like pretty jail cell or something, but it's kind of cute. Okay. Shoot down. And once that dries, and I am going to listen to my own advice this time, once that dries, I will come back and put something cute under it, but I'm going to let it dry. So I'm going to try and try and be, do it the way I was, I would really do it if it was me doing it. Apparently it, it is me doing it, but sometimes, um, I want you guys to see how I really do it. Okay. Let that dry. Move on to the next signature, which is easily found by the page tab that I have put there. Thank goodness. All right. Um, go in a page or two and decide what you're going to do on this page. These are kind of cool. That's a digi kit from Trees of Old. That's a cool look. Oh, look at this. Oh, I did. I do still have some of these. This is a really cute little pocket. Maybe I'm going to make a little pocket. This was a game card. Yeah. A little neutral game card. Collage on a game card. Instant pop pocket. Perfect um, thickness, too. Very nice. All right. So let's go ahead and put this down as a little pocket. And we'll let that dry. Could also be a tuck, meaning you don't glue all three sides of the pocket. Either one or two will give you a tuck. That's kind of how I didn't know the difference, but you know, whatever. Not that big of a deal. Okay, let's. That's number two. Wait a minute, did I miss one? What did I? I did this one right. Yes, two. That's three. And now we're going into four. Okay, so let's just go in a couple pages in. Oh, here's a nice white page. Oh, this might go. Oh, yeah, let's go. Yeah, very good there. Wait, wait. This here? No, this. This I think would be better. Or is it this one? Maybe I need this. Yeah, I think that looks best. Yeah, I do. Okay, so I'm just going to glue the back of this down. This could also be a, um, you could also clip this in because if you wanted it to be a removable, I would put it like that and paper clip it in, which is maybe what I'll do, actually. I'm picking up one of those. Oh, does it go the right way? See, no, this is the thing. I got to make sure I get the, the one where the paper clip goes the right way. That's the whole thing with the paperclip thing. They've got to go the right way. If you don't have one, you can make one. Or you just make use a regular paperclip. No, I guess all mine go the other way. I've now found two of them. That's okay. Hang on. Okay, I found this very random altered paperclip that I had made before, and it can be rotated in any direction because it's non-directional, which is kind of fun then 
you can just paper clip it on and it can be a removable. And then you're gonna get a little hoo-ha sticking out too, which is kind of fun because it gives it some texture. Okay, and now we go back to number one. And so we have what one thing in here. So we maybe go one, one, two, three pages in. We have this pretty page. We don't have a pocket up here. This, that would be nice. But this would be nice too. This guy, could, oh, that would be cool. Yeah, oh, you know what we can do with him? Let's make, turn him into a pocket slash flip up. Yeah, he's gonna do double duty. You're gonna be working extra hard today because we think you have the capability to do it. This is fun. So in one move, we're gonna take a greeting card and turn it into a pocket slash flip up. So maybe we want some pretty ledger or something like that. See, I'm, I'm sticking this in too early, but this idea, okay? And then you could do whatever you want here, and maybe I'm just gonna put some very simple um, peg stamps in here, just to, um, I'm not gonna over-decorate. I might, who am I kidding? But, uh, okay, I got that, it's all right. Okay, turn it, do like a little cluster in the corner there. Maybe some in the north, can you see this? Yeah, okay, oh, a little higher in the north, okay. And um, yeah, that's actually kind of pretty along the top. Let's just keep doing that. Give it a little edge, you can do that. That's what's nice about these peg stamps is you can you can create a little border or a line with them, which is kind of cute. Um, there we go. Okay, so we have that, I and mean, then we have this. That's nice, right? It gives a nice little writing space, plus a pocket, plus a pocket. Okay, number two, what'd we go in? Like one, two, or three, like one? Okay, that, that one. Okay, we have uh, one, two, three. Okay, we have here. Again, trying to use what I have. Oh, this is pretty, isn't it? Oh, I could do a double one. That would be neat. I've never done that before. Oh, that would be wild. Um, or I could do, I like, I like, I do like the idea of page trim. And I can, it'll just cut off there, which will be perfect. Now I'm gonna do that. Wrong scissors, Pam, use these. Okay, let's put you there, put you there. And I'm gonna cut right above the, the little last dragonfly, sacrificial dragonfly. You'll be used for something else. Do not worry. Do not fear. And actually, along as a, with a page trim, I'm going to turn this into a little side pocket. Yeah. So I'm going to put glue here, here, and here on the back. And that way we can use it as a little pocket as well as a page trim. How about that? Multi-purpose. What are these? Pockets, page trims? Nobody knows. It's just all good paper fun. And we're having it. That's right. Okay, let's go ahead, put that down, put it down. Oh, very nice. And now we can tuck something in there, if I remember. Um, let's let that dry though, because that I want to dry securely. Going on to number three, let's go again. One, okay, no, no. One, two, three pages in. And what do we got? We got this. Okay, let's see. Oh, maybe a little pocket. Oh, okay, let's do an upper pocket. Yeah, it's an upper pocket. So, because you can tuck things in from underneath, that's okay. Or you could do a corner tuck, like this, just glue here and here, and that way you can get something bigger in there. Let's do that, because maybe we're gonna need a little variety. So depending on what your pieces are and what's going in there, you can um, accommodate many different sizes of ephemera, or whatever it is that you're putting in there. Okay, there, down you go. Flipping on, moving on. Okay, let's go one, two, three. Okay, we have this, it's very pretty. Oh, no, I think something, but just simple. Like, just like in the middle, hello, I'm a tree, and I'm just here for visual interest. I like that, I'm just gonna glue it right down. I think it's pretty. And it pops nicely against there. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we go. Uh -huh. There we go. Okay. There, that's nice. It just looks nice and innocent on the page. And we're back to the front again. See how quickly it goes? You're like rolling. And um, so we had the second thing in here. Where was that? Here. So let's count another three pages. One, two, three, and maybe something here. Okay, what do we have left? We have you, you. Oh, we have you, you're very nice. What were you, you were gonna be a sideways belly band, which I thought was so cute, like this. Okay, so we're gonna slip something in between it, like maybe something folded like that and down there. So let's just glue you in place. 
and uh you know just by the magic of new i'm really like enjoying this neutral journal fun um it's so easy because the supplies are really easy to come across in regular life you know paper bags um old magazine pages uh, fiction novel pages dictionary pages you know things like that very fun not hard to find uh okay let us go and let that dry we're moving here we're going to find our first piece is here and then we're going to find the second piece and then we're going to count three pages and if your page count isn't exact it's okay one two three here i'm in the middle of this one strangely for some reason don't know why don't know don't know why okay let me look at what i have left i have this and this and this and this I have a couple of postcards. I have a pocket. What's this? A piece of that. A piece of this. Oh, I got another one of those. And I got another one of these. All right. So what can we do here? You might look nice there, huh? That looks kind of nice there. I think that's a nice contrast. We'll just do a traditional pocket here. All right. Doing the U-shape, blue shape. Put her down. Now, it is important when you come back and, and look at these pages, be careful when you're pulling your pages apart because sometimes the glue can seep a little bit and it will um, attach to the other page. And then you get to do a little repair job, but that's not that hard. We know that. Okay, so that's the first one. That's the second one. Okay, here we go. We're counting our pages. One, two, three. Okay, something around this area. Now here, yeah, I think we need to do something here. Maybe we'll do a belly band there. Or we could just do a subtle page trim. That would be nice. But uh, I think maybe a belly band with this guy. Maybe about a third of the way in. Something different. Visual uh, change up for the eye. That's right. We're fooling him left and right. That's what we're doing. Okay. They don't know what's coming when they turn those pages. Okay. Well, so there's a little crumblies. We always have a little crumblies because we work with very, very old pages. Sometimes that happens. But we're okay with it. Yeah. A little bit of fabric fix, north and south. And oh, a third, third in, right? Yeah, there we go. Very cute, very cute. Okay, we got that. Now let's go to the last section. Go to our second installment, which was here. One, two, three page. Okay, we're here. Maybe it's time for you to be adhered. Maybe it is. Maybe it is time. Let me see. Is that the best page? Sometimes you have to see what you have left and see if that's the best um does he pop nicely? Does he pop nice. I think you look nice there. Actually, I think that's a nice presentation page for you, being the center of the signature and all. I'm just going to glue down this back page. Yeah. Here we go. And there we go. I would use a fair amount of glue on these items that you want to keep on the paper. Um, not so much that it oozes all over the place, but enough so that... Uh, it adheres nicely there very nice and now there's like a little extra page it's like a little mini notebook hidden inside of a journal that's right you never know what you're going to find never never know nope nope um now let's maybe use up the little extra pieces that we have what do we have over here dawdling around we have these little guys let's make some fun things with them okay let's go in there's number three one two where well, i'm in the first signature Again, we go to here. Maybe here. Okay, you're going to go this way for sure. But maybe I'm going to put this postcard here because I think that will look striking. It's striking, right? We like striking. I don't know. I like striking. Um, okay, we're going to go, I think it was the third thing. No, there it is. One, okay, one, two, three. So we have a nice white page here. Ooh. Oh, we have another little pocket. Oh, we could do a side tuck with this. Oh, we could even do a side tuck like that. Yeah, you can do a side tuck just like that. Let's do that. Um, just gluing the one side. I would say glue it well. But this will hold something larger stature. Okay. And, and maybe I'll come back and decorate that page a little bit more. But I'm just gluing down my elements um my pockets my tucks my belly bands things like that just so it's an easier process to go through and then later i can come back and stuff the bejeebers out of it <laughs> and overstuff it uh okay so let's find out is this the last one yeah i think it is okay 
One, two, three. Oh, we just made it to the middle? Really? Okay, so yeah, I have no idea why my page count is off. It just happens that way sometimes. This is a very pretty decorated page, so I'm going to leave it as is, as a central page, and just move on to the other areas here. Now, you know what I'm going to do with these little guys? I'm going to do two little mini pockets. Yeah, two, or should I put them over here? Would that look better? Maybe, because I'm going to put things in them, and that pretty page can show. So these are going to be, and I'm not even going to glue them on the sides. They're going to be little bottom tucks. That's it. Just little bottom tucks. So these little pieces that you have that come out at the end, they're sometimes amazingly useful. Yeah. Okay. I need a little more ink there. That's the wrong one. I don't know. My other ink dauber went somewhere. It's here. I know it's here. I haven't moved, so it's, it's got to be right here. Um, I think I forgot this end, too. Well, that happens, you know. You get crafting and you forget. Um, there we go. Along the bottom. And plop her down. Now, remember when you're doing these little double shelves, you want to leave enough headroom so you can put an item. Okay. Are you straight? Okay. Is that even? For some reason, it looks off. Okay, there. So something in there and then something in here. Enough headroom, enough headroom. Um, okay, now the last signature. Doo, 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 doo. Okay. There's you, so we go one, two, three. Now there's a nice blank page to do something with. So I have these little random tiny pieces at the end. I have Angel, which is a paper clip. I have this little piece, which I think is cute. And maybe I'll just do little accents on this page. You know, maybe I'll have, what you doing? Like this here, and maybe this little dot down here. Maybe that's kind of cute in the corner. Or maybe I'll do that there and that there. I think that's cute. Okay, we'll do that. Just put these down. I love birds are doing something. Okay, what are you doing in there? Let me go check on them. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Everything was fine. You know, when you hear a different sound than they normally make, you kind of jump up and go and see what's up. Because, uh, you know, they're getting a little older. <laughs> Can't ignore them. Um, okay, that looked cute right there. Should I put them like that? Or no, he does flying up. Maybe he needs to go there. Yeah, I think there is a good spot. And he's not going to be a tuck or anything. He's just going to be a, like a little cluster a page embellishment. Um, he's just going to be a, a total glue down. Okay, i got to go see what's going on. Okay, I'm back again. They look fine. I don't know what the, the skirmish is about, but there's something going on. <laughs> All right, so I, I'm down to Angel. Do I have any toys left to play with? Oh, I found some more. Oh, look at that. I apparently had a lot more. <laughs> that happens. Oh, yes, we have classified. Oh, that is so nice. Okay, we're going to use that. Um, okay, so we are going to go back in here and see where we were. There. So we went with three. Oh, no, we were here. Oh, sorry, we were here. One, two, three. three. There's a little one in there. We won't count that page. Maybe this page. Oh, that might look nice though right there. That looks very pretty, doesn't it? I don't know, I think that's not, or you could do it on an angle. That'd be cute too. Or you could do it at the top of the page. That's very nice. All right, maybe we'll do that. It's very, um, you know, we want to keep a Shakespeare organized here. We don't want to have them go off the rails too quickly here. Um, all right, just get your corners and plop her down. There we go. Okay, we have that. What else did I pull out of there? Um, a lot of paper clips. So that means that we can add things. So let me just put some pages that have paper clips on them and then I can put something in them. How about that for some wild and fancy stuff? Um, okay, this one is just, it's for a side tuck. Okay, so that was my last page in signature number two. So one, two, three. Some pretty writing paper, marbleized writing paper. Very pretty. I'm going to go there. Go, so if you have a nice blank page, sometimes it's nice to put just a pretty paper clip on it. You don't even have to. It's not obligatory to fill the paper clip um, with something. Sometimes you just want to give them the option of having a place to tuck things if they want, which is very nice of you. <laughs> I think so. I think it's very nice of you. All right. So let's go ahead and put some more paper clips in here since I have them. 
Maybe I'll put one in here somewhere. I gotta get the no. Oh, I had a backwards paper clip. Did you see that? No, I didn't. Did I? I can't remember now. Um, these are all. I think they're all righties. Oh wait. No. Oh, this is a lefty. Maybe they're all lefties. Oh, hang on. Now we we're, now we're talking. Okay, I'm gonna put this one maybe down here. I'm just gonna randomly put them now. I've, I've completely lost page count. It's a lefty. Now they're all lefties, right? That's way it goes sometimes. Oh, uh, one thing you can do if you if you you don't know what to do, you can you can do what I call the upsy downsy. Uh, you just put it at the top, and then it doesn't matter what kind it is. And that works as a tuck as well, a removable tuck, yeah, if you will. Okay, let's put some just randomly salt and peppering some through here, just for fun. All right, there we go. Okay, fun. Couple more. So we got stuff. You know what I mean? We got stuff. <laughs> yes, we do. Uh, okay, this is coming from the side. And this one is coming. Oh, it's not a cool page. I love all the brokenness on it. Okay. There we go. Okay, so let's take a quick peek through what we already have. And I think probably some of the... Where are we, Thomas? Oh, yeah, we're at that time. So we'll take a quick flip through so you can kind of see how decorated it is at this point. Remember, this is a flip up and a pocket. This is a belly band inside. I can tuck something there. A little paper clip there. That's just a standalone stick down. Page tab. I'm going to go in and free these a little bit. It's a good idea to do that at this point before the glue has completely solidified. You can tuck things back here. Double belly band. Okay. Pocket slash page trim. Something can go in here. Okay. Pocket. Side tuck. Very simple things anybody can do, but I think it looks very elegant and very old worldly, very antique-ish um, with the old um, antique colors, the neutrals, the beautiful creams and vanillas and caramels. Yeah, I really like this. This is nice. Actually, I might keep this one. <laughs> Belly band. Okay. And these are made with just little things that you have hanging around. Um, this was just cardstock, stenciled. We may make a few more things. Here's another little uh, journal. Uh, another little pa uh, altered paper clip. You can never have too many altered paper clips. What is that? That's a page tab, right? See, sometimes I forget what they are. This is a uh, clipped in little booklet. There's just a standalone picture. Paper clip. Here is that magical little mini internal journal. Very easy to make, very fun add-ons for your journal, some blank pages. Here we go. These are just catty corner um, decorations, blank page for the person to do whatever they like. And a couple little um, paper clips in the neutral family. And so there you go. I'll show you our thickness at this point. See this, we, we're already here. But if you wrap a sash around it, it will easily close. I mean, I can even make it mini on that side. But that's what it looks like at this point in the process. So we will be doing a little bit more of this to um, do some little tweaks and add some things and maybe do a few more little elements. But I'll show you what I, I tuck in there in those little spots. And this little Shakespearean neutral journal will be done. And uh, don't forget, we have to finish up our little uh, sash at the end as well. So take care, everybody. Oh, I know. I'm getting him. Here. Have you thought about what you're going to say? Yeah, I am. See, I hear. I have been thinking about it. And, and, Sunshine here reporting from the Paper Outpost. There are big things going on, but I can't tell you what they are because they're top secret and, and, I don't know, there was something about, I would be sent to the pound, the pound, if I let them out. No, mom didn't say that. No, mom would never send me to the pound. Um, but I, I'm, I'm, 
I'm a top secret reporter who cannot report. What? What kind of a job is this, Mom? I, I This isn't working for me. <laughs> okay, I understand. It can be frustrating sometimes when you have to hit or hide a, a hot story. It sure can. I wonder how Clark Kent dealt with it. I think you should ask Lois Lane. Yeah, probably a better option. Okay. <laughs> I think Clark Kent got a side job. Yeah. I think you're right. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, sunshine. Over and out. Yeah, over and out, Mom. Take care, everybody. Happy crafting. Okay. Thank you for that. And um, thank you for everybody who's been here and for everyone who is new. My uh, videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. New audio. And uh, you can watch video podcasts every other day of the week on Spotify. Uh, I have an Etsy shop where you can find digi kits, which are printable download images. I have over 190 kits to pick from. Each kit has five pages full of images. Um, if you don't want to print them out yourself, I have a print and mail service. I will print them out for you. Give me the names of 10 DigiKits. I only need the first two or three names. Send me the list of DigiKit names to thepaperoutpost.com, my email address, or message me in Etsy with your list. And then just buy the print and mail option, and I will print those out for you. You get free priority shipping with that as well. And I sell fundals, which are collections of old and interesting papers. So if you like um, old vintage or antique papers, um, some hand-dyed papers, some interesting book pages, many fascinating things, old ledger, um, checks, receipts, postcards, photographs, field guides. Oh, you just name it. 100 plus pieces. I will ship those off to you. And um, I have an Etsy shop. I know I just told you that. I'm moving along. Have an Amazon shop where you can find favorite tools and supplies. If you're looking for the stuff that you see me use, I try and find links for them and put them in there. It does help my shop, but you do not pay more for the items if you use my links. And I have a t-shirt shop, which I call my merchandise shop. If you like the phrase, create with reckless abandon, <laughs> if you would like to see that or Everything is a craft supply and to prove it otherwise. I do have that mug. I got to go find it. Um, you can get that on a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a zipped hoodie, mug tote, or water bottle. And um, you can find me on Pinterest, inter Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Facebook group. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges as well as seeing what you guys make from these videos. And remember that fun can be simple. Create with reckless abandon. And we'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. Have a great time. Bye-bye.